KSYR TV Syracuse. Now, 11 non-stop minutes of news. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Casciano. Jeff Kulikowski, Nedro Neighbors United tonight, all seeking ways to keep themselves safe from scary attacks in homes just two weeks ago. One man was hit in the head with a toilet tank cover, a 14-year-old assaulted, while the suspected intruder remains locked up. News Channel 9's Alexandra Dern tells us homeowners want to keep up their guard. They're all here for one reason, safety. Yes, I did. And if you had, you wouldn't have five more guns. And this man, perhaps one of the closest to the terrifying crime spree. We're all here, right? So why are we calling them? Freda Pineda Ganeza says Rayshawn Broadwater went to his house too, stealing his daughter's bike. That bike had an air tag, helping police track down Broadwater. We showed them uh, the location of where it was at exactly, and they went right to it, and voila, that's how they found the gentleman and my daughter's bike. <laughs> Freda did the right thing by calling 911 right away, but there are other worries. One concerned citizen asked, what am I legally able to do if somebody breaks into my home? There are lots of ways neighbors can stay safe. Light up your house. Lock those doors with the deadbolt. Watch for suspicious cars and people. Sometimes the simplest of things can provide us the greatest protection. Kenneth Kenyon has lived in Nedro his entire life, 77 years, and shares this proven piece of advice. As a neighbor, you keep watching everything, and that's what you have to do. Because there's safety in numbers. And Nedro, Alexandra Dern, News Channel 9. Alexandra, thank you. Everyone at the meeting agreed they should do this kind of thing about every six months. Syracuse University suspending the Phi Kappa.